Good morning, viewers. This is Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall discuss sequence and series. Please kindly subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. And always click the notification bell so that each time I upload new video, you'll be notified. Thank you. We start with sequence. Sequence. We start with sequence. A sequence, a sequence is an other set. A sequence is an other set of objects. It's an other set of objects formed formed by a particular rule by a particular rule and which now this is sequence are functions these are functions of a particular set of numbers set of numbers it can otherwise it can otherwise be set of numbers be set of numbers it can otherwise be set of numbers generated generated in accordance in accordance in accordance with a definite pattern a definite pattern a definite pattern a definite pattern we stop now let's consider the following set of numbers consider the following set of numbers. Let's consider the following set of numbers. Okay. Okay. We have 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, dot, dot, dot. We have a uh, Two, three, six, eight, and ten. Comma. Let's use only four. Let's let's use four here. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That would be better. And the last one we have half. One, three over two, two, five over two, and so on. Each member, each member. Of each set is called a term. Each member of each set is called a term. The dots, the dots, after each set, the dot after each set shows that sets of numbers. Set of numbers constitute or continue rather continue infinitely. That is when you have dots after each set of numbers, it means that we have infinite list of the of the sets of numbers. Okay, 
That is where you have a set of numbers 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, comma, dot, dot, dot. That means the number continues infinitely. That is that about that. So we have seen what we meant by a sequence. That's a number that has a regular pattern. It's set of, it consists of a set of numbers that are defined using a particular uh, pattern. So let's let's try to identify the pattern each of the uh, following set of numbers have. Let's look at the pattern they have. Now let's look at the first one here. Once it's identified, to identify the pattern, let's look at it. Look at the first set of numbers. We have 5, 9, 13, 17, and uh, 21. Okay? Now, that's it. That's it. The T1. We, we, have, we have been told, according to the definition, that each set in the set of numbers we have is called a term. So that means the number 5 there is the first term because it's the first number occupying the first position in this pattern. The 9 here is the second term because it is the number occupying the second position in this arrangement. 13 is the third term because 13 is the number occupying the third position in this pattern. Okay? And so on and so forth. So the first term here, T1, used, used it to mean. 10. 1 here means the first 10. The first number. The number that occupies the first position. So, it's 5. Okay? Now, if I write T2, I'm saying the second number or the second 10. So, if I have T2 and my second number, which is the second term, is 9. So, that means 5 plus. The way I can get 9 is the 5 plus. 4 multiplied by 1. I hope you understand. Yes. 5 plus 4 multiplied by 1 gives me the second term. If I want to define the third term now, you know, I would say 5 plus, you know, the second term is what? Is what? Is 13. Now, I will say 5 plus, I will together, if I say 4 multiplied by, you know, 13 will be 5 plus 8. So that's 5 plus 4 multiplied by what? By 2. You can see? Now it, it goes on and on and on and on. <clears throat> the fourth term will what? If I write the first term now, T4, that will be 5 plus, because T4 is 17. And if I take 5 from 17, it means 12. That will be 5 plus 4 multiplied by what? By 3. So it will go on and on. So, if I don't want, because I cannot list all of them all, let's now assume that I have Tn. Tn. Okay, my n. I don't know what my n, what the number of times is the n. I don't know the particular position I'm talking about. So it'll be 5 plus, you know, this term around now, 4 multiplied by, I won't say n. Yes, if we observe closely, you look at, well, let, let's take this thought term first I mean, as an example. You know, 4 multiplied by 2. And you observe that um, it is an increase in, you know, the, the, the term here is 3. I have 5 plus 4 multiplied by 2. You observe that if I take 1 from 3, I have 2. So also, second term here. If I take, you know, 1 from 2, I have 1 here. Look at the fourth term. My 3 here is taking 1 from this 4. I have 3. So, that means that my the, the number I will have here will never what if I take one from n, so that will be four into bracket n minus one. Please try to understand this is very it's very very straightforward. Okay. T2 before five plus the first time is five plus four multiplied by when you take one from the two here. I have one. T3 is five plus four multiplied by when you take one from what? From three here. You have two. So and so on and so forth. So why you expand this now? You have 5 plus 4 times n, 4n, then plus 4 times minus 1, plus, that would be, sorry, that's minus 4, sorry, that's minus 4, okay, plus 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. So, by the time we now uh, solve that, we expand that out, so, we are going to have tn now is equal to 5 minus 4, that is 1. 
plus 4n. So, this is the general term that determines the pattern of the first uh, set of numbers. That is the general term. So, that's every other number in that uh, set, in that sequence, can be defined or will be defined by this general term. Let's look at another one. You get it now. By the time you look at this. Now, our first term here is what? Is 2. Okay? Our first term here is 2. Now, how do you get the second term? Um, you have uh, the second term here is, is it the 2 plus. Are we together? 2 plus, because the second term is 4. So it remains 2. 2 into bracket 1. Yes. How that is clear. Okay, you observe that when you take 1 from these 2, you have 1. So let's look at the third term. That will be 2 again plus. Now, the third term is 6. We need what? You know, 2 plus 4 will be 6. So 2 into remain 2. That means when you take 1 from this 3, you have that 2. Try to understand, try to understand. It's not difficult. Come on, it's not difficult. Okay? So now the first term, T4, the first term here is 8. So by the time you put 2, it remains 6. Now with 2 again, into multiply by what? 3. Okay? So you observe that taking 1 away from 4, you have 3 here. Alright. So now our Tn, which is the general term, will be 2 plus 2 into. Now, if you look at the pattern of the of each term, you see that there is an increase in 2 with respect to the position of the term. So, now that will be what? That will be our, when we have t4, you know it is uh, 2 into multiply, multiply by 3. That is, when you take 1 from this, what? 4. You have 3. So that will be 2 into what? n minus 1. Yes. 2 into n minus 1. So that when it is 3, t3, it is 2 plus 2 into n here is 3, 3 minus 1 gives us 2. Okay, so with that, so with that, we don't have, by the time we expand this, we have 2 plus 2 times n is 2n, plus 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So, now we have 2 minus 2, that will be 0. So, we have what? 2n left. So, tn is equal to 2n. Okay, let's look at the third one. Let's look at the third one. Let's look at the third example. Uh, let's look at the third example. The third example is... Uh, half see we have half 1 3 over 2 2 5 over 2 and so on okay now t1 here the first term the first number is 1 over 2 okay now let's look at the second number t2 if you look at the second number you observe that there's something here clearly the second number is, uh, if you look at it critically, you could have said that you could have said one half plus, you know, half into one. How you know that? It gives us what? Uh, it gives us what? It's weak over. It will give us what? One. So let's see. Let's check because this one looks uh, somehow di uh, different from what the previous one. Half plus half into what put two here? Okay, that be what? That is a uh, half plus. That's uh, what? This one is 1. It's good of what? Very good. So that means it can still follow that pattern as well. Very good. Very good. So, I hope you are getting it. Now, the next one here is T4, which is what? 2. Half plus half into, that's a 3 here. If you observe that clearly, the ones in the brackets are obtained from the subtraction of 1 from the n value here. So, that means. Our Tn now will be half plus, are we there? Half into n minus 1. Yes. Yes. So, half into n minus 1. So, so let's expand. Tn is equal to half plus half times uh, n. That's n all over 2. Then plus half minus one minus half. So this we cancel this because half minus half is zero. So T n is equal to n all over two. So that is that for that. So uh, this is where we're going to round up for 
uh, in sequence this uh, morning. So we continue from here next time. So thanks for watching. God bless you.